art journal quick tip for gessoing your pages. This is just a quick tip on a way to gesso your art journal pages using a brush and a way to remove or diminish the appearance of all those brush strokes on your pages after the gesso is dry. I'm not saying that it is a brand new tip but it's something that I learned and I just want to pass it along to you. Hi, I have a quick tip on gessoing your page backgrounds. I'm using clear gesso. I am gessoing pages in this little book for my January uh, scissors doodle book. Uh, the pages are fairly thin, not exceedingly thin, but the ink, especially the Sharpies and the markers will go through and get to the other side. So that's why we gesso them. I'm using Liquitex, Liquitex Clear Gesso. Liquitex Clear Gesso. And uh, I'm gessoing my pages, of course, you know, to get the gesso clear out to the border of the page. Get a nice even coat on it, on the pages. You'll want to get inside of the gutter of gutter margin of the book. I do find that even after I gesso, if I use wet media on my pages, that the ink will tend to soak through. So you want to get that area in there pretty good, as good as you can. So, And you also want to get clear out to the border of the pages. Now these are these tips are nothing new. I'm sure that that you know this. It's almost common sense. That isn't really what this video is about. But I have to get to the point to where I want to talk about what I want to tell you in this video. And in order to do that, I need to have both of these pages gessoed. Okay. Now I'm using uh, just a plain craft brush with these, um, I want to call them plastic bristles, they're synthetic is the word I'm looking for, synthetic bristles. And as you can tell, I can see the brush strokes. I have a good coat of gesso on these pages and you can see the brush strokes even after I do, I gesso this way and then this way and I kind of, no matter how I get my brush strokes, they're, they're showing on the page. And here's the tip. Take your paper towel and I've got it just lightly dampened. It's my brush like this. And just, when you don't want to see those brush strokes, just take your paper towel and just lightly, don't wipe up the gesso, you want gesso on your page, but just lightly pounce on the page and that will, that will um, smooth out the, get that off, the brush strokes. So when you go to draw on your page, you won't have brush strokes to deal with. You'll have a little bit of a texture, but that is the difference between something like this, where I did it on this page. See how smooth that is? And then on a page prior, let's see if I can get to one of the pages I did earlier this morning. On this page, I did not do that, and I have very clear and distinct brush strokes. So. Just kind of lightly pound. Like I said, you don't want to take off the gesso. That was my tip. I hope that uh, it helps somebody out there um, when you're gessoing your pages. I imagine you can use a sponge to do this too. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that it has helped somebody out there uh, get a nice smooth texture when they're 
applying gesso to and preparing their journal pages. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next page.